All right, we are making shelves here today. So they come like this, as you can see, in a sheet of tin. What you're going to want to do first, always, of course, though, is um, let's see how we do it. That looks pretty good. Make sure you score. It's a lot easier when you uh, score the whole page like this, and then come back and cut it out. And then you end up with this. Now what I like to do here, again, taking it to the next level whenever you can, instead of just cutting like this and throwing that scrap piece away right there, right there, I'm at, I cut, as you notice here, you can see how I cut this, and I even measured to get an idea there, and so let me show you why I did that. <clears throat> okay, there's that there, in fact I'll cut one out right here, let's see, let's grab some scissors. So you can see it's already cut. I went and cut on each side like that, so then I could come back and just snip away. And so, okay, we're still recording, that's right. So there we go, we've cut it out, and it looks like that. And then I used my ruler and I measured, and I said, oh, well, look at that. That's just about, look at that, that's eight millimeters. And how many on that side? Eight. Uh, seven millimeters to the uh, edge of that little dot right there. Why is that important? Well, here's the next one in my uh, my little make. So I measured. So if you look, that's basically a square right there, and that's important because well, it's going to fold back on itself. But I measured up eight. So that's there we go. Made my marks as you can see. Then I come back. Here's the next one, and I cut on those two little dotted line, those two little lines I made, and then fold over, fold over, and then I'm going to fold this in like that, fold this in a little bit further, because if you see, watch what happens, it's going to go fold back on itself like that, and then with just about, okay, I like to fold tape out about that much. And I just need two little pieces like that. I mean, that's small right there, y'all. Small. That's small, y'all. And then I'm just going to put it right on the edge there like that, as you can see. And then when I fold this over like that, tape. And then on the other side, there we go. Fold that in like that. Bring it over. And then two more because, well, I'm Mr. AR. And you can figure out what that means. And so, now, when you go to attach this, and let's see, um, uh, let's pretend this is, I got a beam somewhere around here. There we go. So now when I go and attach this, again, this could be folded like this. Oh, look at that. It didn't fold it perfectly. You can attach it one of two ways. You could, as you can see here, tape it like that and then fold it over. But honestly, it actually, I think it works better if it's just up like that. You'll tape it. And then you see this is free to move and you can adjust it. And then you'll tape those sides down. But you see, by folding the end over and folding it back on itself and creating a structural end, a little box end, now this thing has complete... It's just not the same as... Well, here, let's do this. Oh, no, these don't seem to have been scored. Oh, no. It makes it so much easier in folding if you just score your paper with a wooden stylus. I've tried using a metal stylus before. It feels like nails on a chalkboard. So you see, if you just leave it like that, I mean, see how it can wiggle around like that? But here's one that I've already made as well. Once it's on there, see how much stronger that is? So that is a really top-notch, top-notch shelf. There you go.